At Great Bridge Primary School, it's writing, reading, and dehumidifiers? Dehumidifiers for several classrooms the Chesapeake school system admits have mold problems. I had Jonas put surveillance cameras all over. And this is six-year-old Landon Miller, who hasn't been in school since last Wednesday, sick on the first day after walking into classroom 18. Rana Thomas is well, Landon's I mean, grandmother. He, he was very lethargic at first. He, he wasn't feeling well. He actually fell asleep on the bus. By Thursday, heavy breathing. And while he was here, I noticed that his breathing seemed very labored. Breathing this heavy. listened to his chest and said to me get him to the hospital right now he's in a respiratory distress Landon was at CHKD three days his doctor wrote this note to the school Landon is wheezing correlated with the first two days of school in a class noted to have elevated mold levels and that's exactly what Hayes microbial consulting found in Landon's room 18 the pink is significantly higher spore counts than outside air also in room 16 Room 12, room 34, 35, 33, room 31, and 30. You send your child to school and you think that, you know, that they're in an environment where they can learn and they're protected and they're in a clean environment. Chesapeake schools knew there was a mold problem because it hired McKee Environmental that determined the AC window units were off during the summer and humidity was so great mold grew in several classrooms. Thomas says she's upset because parents weren't told about the mold when school started. The only reason I know about this is because my grandson got sick. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known what the air quality levels are in there. Thomas is also livid because Principal Heather Martin has made no accommodation for Landon even after his doctor wrote the school to do so. She doesn't have time for this. And she told my daughter she's not pulling him out of the classroom. And here's the sad trickle down of the whole story. Do you want to go back to school? Isn't that the psychological thing? He doesn't want to go back to school because it might happen again. He doesn't want to go back in the hospital.